In this video, I'll show you how to create a smooth footer reveal effect like this in Elementor in just 5 minutes. I've built hundreds of web design projects and I know how tricky it can be to get a sticky footer that reveals cleanly without breaking anything. So I'll walk you through it step by step and make sure it looks great on desktop and mobile. Also, don't worry about it slowing your site down. I'll also show you a simple way to keep your site running fast for free. Let's get into it. Alright, I've got this footer on my website and it just sits at the bottom of the page like any normal footer would. But what I want is for it to reveal itself smoothly as I scroll down like it's sliding up behind the content. And I want it to stick to the bottom of the screen no matter how short the page is. Well, here's what you need to do. Oh, and if you want to use the same footer I'm using, you can download it from the pinned comment below. Now let's turn this into a sticky reveal footer. First, we're going to edit the actual footer template. So from your WordPress dashboard, go to Templates and click on Theme Builder. Inside the Theme Builder, head over to the Footer tab. You should see your existing footer there. Hover over it and click Edit with Elementor. If you haven't created a footer yet, go ahead and make a simple one using a container and some text. Once you're inside the Elementor editor, click on the outer container of your footer. This is important and you need to make sure you're selecting the main wrapper container, not just a widget inside it. Now look over to the left sidebar, open the Advanced tab and scroll down to the Motion Effects section. Here you'll find a drop-down labeled Sticky. Set it to Bottom. What this does is anchor the footer to the bottom of the screen so it stays there even if the content above it is short. This is key for landing pages where your content might not always fill the whole viewport. Next, while you're still in the left panel, switch over to the Layout tab. Scroll down until you see the Z-Index setting. Set it to 0. Now, Z-index is basically how you control which elements sit on top of others, like layers. Now, look for the margin section. In the top margin field, type minus 25 pixels. This pulls the footer upward slightly, so it tucks in just under your content. This is the key trick that gives that reveal effect. Whether the footer feels like it's emerging from behind the page instead of just being stuck at the bottom. Once you've done that, click Update to save your footer. The footer setup is now complete. Next, we need to make sure your actual page content is set up to work with it. Open the page where you want the reveal effect to appear. For example, your home page. Now go through each section on the page. Go to Advanced tab and scroll down to Z-Index. Set the Z-Index to something higher than the footer, so a value like 1 or 2 will work fine. What this does is make sure the content stays visually in front of the footer. Without this, the footer would sit on top of your text or images, which breaks the effect and just looks messy. Once you've done that for all the containers, scroll to the very last section on the page, the one that sits just above the footer, click on it, go to the Styles tab and open the border settings. Here, we want to round just the bottom corners to make the transition into the footer feel smooth. Set the border radius to 0, 0, 30, 30. What this does is only round the bottom corners, giving the last section a nice curved edge as it meets the footer. While you're still in the Styles tab, scroll down and add a box shadow. Set a light shadow that points downward, something soft and subtle. This helps add depth and creating a sense of separation between your content and the footer underneath it. It's a small visual cue, but it makes a huge difference in polish. Click Update, and before we preview the footer, let's make sure your site is running smoothly. Go to airlift.net. Just enter your website URL and hit Enter. Airlift will automatically connect to your site, run a quick performance scan, and give you a speed score. It's completely free and once it's done, your page, including the new sticky footer, will load smoother and faster. Alright, let's preview the page. Scroll down and you should see your footer reveal itself beautifully as the final section of your site. It works great on desktop and if you've set everything up correctly, it should work on tablet and mobile without any extra tweaks. One quick thing to remember, 
don't add spacing between your sections using top or bottom margins. If you do that, it will create gaps that expose the sticky footer behind your content prematurely. Instead, use padding inside the sections to control spacing. That way, everything stays connected visually and the reveal happens at the right time. That's it for the setup and your smooth, sticky footer reveal is ready to go. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.